we discovered was that about 60 years ago, some researchers did look at and identified cultures that were producing an unusual concentration of creative geniuses. And these cultures have popped up in different locations over time from the Renaissance period. And the researchers uh, tried to identify key factors that led to innovation. You can also go back as far as ancient Egypt and Rome and Greece and ask yourself, they were innovative uh, cultures back then. What happened? What companies, countries and cultures win, lose, or get eliminated should we dribble it down to a reality TV show metaphor. We don't read about survivorship bias. We don't read about the companies that explored and never made it. So there might be for every Elon Musk or, or Bezos or, or whatever, there might be hundreds or millions of, of people that were almost that close. There are more psychopathic leaders in leadership positions than there are in prisons at the moment. So we've got to be really careful of survivorship bias and not just worship these gurus that seem to be told, you know, a risk take, explore, go out there, come up with breakthrough ideas. Not that it's not important, but the real issue here is the ability to balance the ambidexterity between exploration and preservation. And I think the purpose of this research is to look at how do we get down the innovation race successfully, long term, without skidding off and crashing. But the problem is we're going to have good actors and bad actors. And for every 10 good actors, there only needs to be one bad actor to, to, to really use AI to destroy things. We're not building this one. We, we, we could build a nuclear arms race and we could decide how many weapons we wanted to build or how many we wanted to cut down. But the AI arms race, we sort of built it and said, now go and build your own. It's a bit like nuclear weapons building themselves before tech wipes out the tradition of our cultures in our countries. We need to sit down and take a good hard look at how they survived 40,000 years before we blow ourselves up with either a nuclear arms race or an AI arms race, which is where we're heading at the moment.